summer season is soon upon us and this year for my annual summer holiday I decided not to stay in the UK but instead travel to a new destination to take in some culture and like with any summer holiday I always take my Raycon everyday E25 earbuds with me for the trip. One of the most satisfying things for me is getting into a comfy bed, surround myself with all my holiday snacks and watch something to fall asleep to. It's kind of like a holiday ritual for me. And with my Raycon E25 earbuds, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. No matter where I am, I could simply pop on my comfy pair or Raycon noise isolating fit earbuds and feel truly immersed in what Ever film I'm watching that night without all the noise from the outside world making sure my holiday remains fun and I can drift off to sleep without any distractions whatsoever from outside but it's not just for some holidays you will find that the E25 earbuds will literally find uses for all aspects in your life whether it be sporting activities listening to audiobooks chilling to music or falling asleep to ASMR videos the everyday E25 earbuds have you covered in all departments. They have a premium sound quality, which you'll notice yourself with seamless Bluetooth pairing, featuring even more bass and a compact design, which is why they look so sleek. They're six hours of playtime and come in a bunch of awesome colors, Fred sports both black and blue and with all of those features they are still half the price of premium audio brands so to get your very own pair of raycon everyday e25 earbuds to take with you this summer or just to have with you all the time just click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash fred to get 15 percent off your raycon purchase Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring tonight's ASMR video. That's quite far enough. Hello there. I expect that you thought you weren't going to meet anybody here, were you? You were trying to get behind this hangar here, weren't you? No doubt. There's a ship you were planning on stealing. Oh, how very original of you. Well, perhaps you would like to blow that weapon of yours. No? Not to worry. Soon you will be surrounded and you will most certainly have to lower that weapon of yours there then you won't have a choice. You have friends, no doubt, in the hangar. Oh, I believe you. I also believe that your friends have also been captured, just like you. So why don't you be a good rebel for us here? This could be so much easier. It doesn't have to be hard, you know. I know that you came aboard here hoping that you will get off nice and free. No doubt with those items there that you have taken from us. Well, I would like to ask you politely if you could be someone amenable in this situation. If you could pass me back those plans, and I promise I will let you off this ship. You have my word. I am a very trustworthy Imperial. Do you know what they call me? Me. No, not by that name. No, I'm... No. I'm not the liar, I am the trustworthy. So you could know that I will stick by my word if you lower your weapon there. It could be as simple as that. Well, it looks to me that 
You don't have much time there. Oh no, is... Can I just see? Does it... No, oh, don't worry. I'm, you can keep your weapon raised to me, that's fine. But I just see... You look injured. Oh dear. Oh no, the, the, my stormtroopers have gone too far. Too far this time. Oh dear. That looks like you need a medical bay. Treatment. Well, I could take you. One of our droids can fix you up. But that requires you to lower your weapon there. And come with me. And you have, on my word, I will take you there personally and bring you back and send you on your way. And we can part ways and none of this would have even happened. No, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Do you mind if I lower my weapon? I know you're not foolish enough to do anything with yours. If you did, then you know you wouldn't make it out of here alive. What if I was to tell you that currently right now, I have a trap set for you behind these hangar doors. We were waiting here for you to come here. We have captured the rest of your friends and your little rebel Legion, and we were planning on getting rid of every single one of them. What do you say about that? Not very nice, is it? Well, I, I cannot help but you appear to be quite injured there. I'm, I'm very concerned for you. Okay. We can drop our weapons, we could put them back in our holsters, nice and easy now. Okay, we can put them back in our holster, and you can let me, I have a medical pack with me. I knew that you were injured. I can help you and patch you up. Okay, it just requires you to lower your weapon. We can both be amenable in this situation. Are you familiar with this weapon here? Well, of course you are. You have one that's quite similar, don't you? No doubt you took it from another Imperial. Hmm. Not very clever of you. Well, how about that I just fix up that little and I'm, I must apologize for my troopers. They were not meant to shoot at you at all. No doubt, because you were the leader, I wanted to speak to you face to face, person to person. And we could be amenable in this tense situation we find ourselves in. Okay, so may I suggest that we both lower our weapons here. We forget what is transpiring here at the moment. We both lower our weapons, pop them back in our holster. And allow me to tend you. Can, can you allow me to do that? Of course, I'm, yes, I'm a well-known, renowned Imperial, but of course I wouldn't want to see anybody hurt. And you look hurt. And I really would like to help you right now. Can we agree on that? And then we could get back to discussing what is going to happen. That's great. Oh, please, just lower your holster there. Nothing is to your weapon. Nothing is going to happen to you here. There we go. Mine is nice and safely put away here in my holster. Okay, I'm not going to be touching this weapon. Okay. So I will keep that there. See? Nothing to worry about. 
your turn. Just pop it there in your holster. And there we are. We are just two individuals who find ourselves in an undesirable situation. But first, please allow me to come closer to you. And I'll take it. There will be no funny business. Just let me take a look at your wound. I don't want you to be hurt. Okay? We want you to keep safe here. Right? That's all it comes down to. And then we can go back to discussing about this hangar door here behind me. Do you permit me to come a little bit closer? I assure you, you have on my honor Nothing will happen to you right now whilst I fix you up. Good. We have some ground force established here. I'm going to come just a little closer there. That is a nasty wound you have there. Oh dear. May I ask what trooper did this to you? Oh, stormtroopers. Wasn't any of my death troopers, was it? My personal guard there? No. Oh, good. Just a stormtrooper. I dealt with a very lousy shot there, so it is on your arm where the problem is right there. May I just inspect your face? Can I do that? Okay. I'm coming a little bit closer. Right. Everything looks fine there. Wound to take care of the back 
the spray will do its job, but it will need time. And we will place this bandage around you to make sure that everything will be safe for you. Fancy here whatsoever. Okay. We will use this to patch you up. Then we have our medical tape. This is for large wounds. You will find you may see plenty of this in the medical bay with the droids. They will use this just to bandage any of your wounds that require a little bit more time to heal. It sometimes can take a little bit longer. Enable for all the back to spray to work and allow your neurons and all of the areas of your wound to repair. This will ensure that that substance will stay on you. I will use a little bit of this medical tape on you. Okay, nothing, nothing fancy here, just all the things we need. Next, we have the medical impulsor. This will ensure that all the right pulses are sent down into your wound and it speeds up the healing. This is all it is, it is nothing else. You will be sure to use that. Okay. One more thing. Are you familiar with this? It is not a weapon, don't feel alarmed. You can, there we go, at least we have an agreement here. I'm going to ask you just to respect that and keep your hand away from your weapon there. That's great. Okay. So I will be approaching you just a little bit. This, of course, is very technical equipment here. And this will, if you have a deep wound there, and I think it's going to need some attention very, very soon, this will heal that wound and this will tell me if there was anything else wrong with you. It's also a deep wound scanner and this would scan anything in your body to check if there isn't anything else wrong with you. We will finish off with that to give you a full body scan. Okay. That was just one more thing just in case you need a little extra, we can bandage you up and stick that on you, and it's got healing properties. Now, are you willing to surrender yourself to me yet? I can take you personally to the medical bay. All it requires from you is just to give me those plans. It's as simple and as easy as that. No? You will be captured. Either way, it's just a matter of time. Well, I have taken the time and liberty to go through all of these things which I'm going to do for you, but what are you going to do for me? Okay, I have an idea then. What if I was to borrow, and I assure you, I will give it back. If I was to borrow your weapon there, you would give it to me for safekeeping, an insurance policy, to make sure that I can come closer and attend to you. Make sure that you get fixed. You appear to be losing a little bit of blood there. Why not? If you let me see to that for you, Okay, none of my troopers 
who bother us. They all know I'm here. Just me and you. If you give me your weapon, I can come closer and fix you up. Whether we send you on your way, let my troopers let you go through. If you give me back the plants, and then we can part ways and meet another day. Or my troopers can wait for you there. You could take your weapon and take your chances. As I know that you don't believe me that there are any troopers there. I could see it in your face. But that is your decision to make. I can't make it for you. This is something which I think you'll be able to work out in a minute. So, how about you give me that weapon now? I will just pop it here, next to the medical box. It's, it can be as simple as that. Sure, look, I won't take mine out of the holster. Here it is, my weapon is concealed, here, in my holster. I will turn away around for you. Okay, no sudden movements. I'm not afraid of you and your weapon there. Okay. No, please. By all means. I'm gonna approach you. If you just turn it around, like that. There we go. It's now in my hand there. That's great. And now I will take it from you. With the insurance that it will be returned to you. I am very familiar with this weapon here. It has a good weight to it. And we all know what sound it makes. Okay, I wonder how many of my troopers you have killed with this weapon. Hmm. Sadly it's a mystery, isn't it? But I shall honor our agreement and place your weapon here. So, before we begin, I'm just going to scan you for any deep wounds. This will be a full body scan before. Make sure we don't miss anything. And again, after. If you can just keep nice and still for me. This tells me that's good. You have no serious wounds there. Now a quick body scan here. Head to toe, keep nice and still. Here we go. There it is. I shall be lying down ever so slightly. Okay. No need to attack. And back up again. Little bit 
on your boot there. Okay, so I'm going just a bit closer. You just put up your arm there for me. There we go. you've got a little bit just around your head there so let me fix you up so I will just apply a little bit of this back to spray on there allow me to come close and attend to those wounds of yours there it gets a little bit bright with its healing capabilities there on this bandage. But the brightness is only the activation. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit there. Does that feel better? Good. Allow me to do the other side there for you. Oh, it's no trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Same again, but just wipe a little bit down there. Nice and gently. Nice and relaxed. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit more there. Same again. This has got healing properties in it. Allow to heal the outer parts of your skin there. There we go. It's very simple. Very simple. There we go. It's just clean up those little scrapes you've got there. No doubt you are trying to make your way throughout the Star Destroyer. All those tight corners and crevices and explosions and gunfights you're bound to scratch yourself up a little bit, but that's okay, I'm fixing you right now. Right. Just a little bit. Along there. And just a little bit. Along there. That's great. It is very simple what we're doing here. Okay, we will see to that in a minute. I'm going to be sending pulses down to your wound there. This may feel a little bit tingly. It's going to come in contact. There we go. It's touching now. You've got to give that a little bit of time. Three, two, one. Right. And same again. It's going to touch. There. Three, two, one. There we go. No doubt you probably suffered an injury on the other side of your arm. Not quite as bad, but there's certainly a little bit of wear and tear on you. Allow me to do the same on the other side. Thank you. One, two, three. There we go. Same again. great. It's as simple as that. Right. Well, I'm going to put some more back to spray on that wound there. Now it's nice and clean. Okay. So, just by your shoulder there, I'm going to begin you a few little sprays like this. Okay, two, three, four. 
Simple as that. On your arm. Okay, this is going to start the healing process. Keep nice and still for me. this. Do forgive me that. Yes, I hear you. There is no need. There is no need to comment whatsoever. Yes, I have them here with me. Do not enter on my command. Thank you. They, of course, are searching for you still, and I wouldn't want them to find you in this way. Not unless you give me permission to do so, and look after you properly. Significance for 
for the Empire. I will make sure that you would be rewarded accordingly for your actions today. No? Well, my character study on you tells me that you would not agree to such terms. That is why I'm here with you today. So I'm going to stop placing this on your arm. It will stick directly to your wound there. And then we will tape it up. Okay. You keep that nice and still for me. You think about what I said. this last bandage here and then our little agreement soon comes to an end and you have a decision to make don't you a very important decision whether you choose to do the right thing which I must urge you to do unless you choose to do what you would consider the noble thing which I would urge you not to do being a Karen Imperial that I am. I would like to make sure that you leave this place in one piece and you can go about your business if you give me the contents which I desire. Yes, I know your weapon appears to be there. And I have mine right here. So you are familiar with this weapon here. Oh, don't worry. That scanner there, it wasn't there to check for any deep wounds. It was telling me if you had any other weapons on your person. And it appears to me that you don't. I will keep a safe distance away from you. I quite know quite what you are capable of. I have done my research on you and what your involvement has been. You are a bit of a rogue member of the Rebel Alliance, aren't you? You have a name for yourself. Hmm. What was your last little endeavor? Yes, I know all about that, all about you. And I assure you, you have two options here. You can be a hero of the Empire. And you can hand over those plans. Or you can be a hero of the Rebellion and not leave this Star Destroyer in one piece. Oh, they have many names for me. Yes. Oh no, don't worry. I could do that, couldn't I? But I will let you make the right decision. Like I said, I'm not afraid of you. So, there's your weapon there. But first, let me just quickly bandage you up there. Make sure that's firmly in place. I would like you to make this decision in full health and moments now you would have fully recovered on your wound there and you can get back to whatever you want to get back doing. Hmm. Well, can you tell me what ships we have behind us? Indeed we have two shuttles there. Yes, we have a dozen TIE fighters. There, correct. You know, Alhanna Bay, you have done your research. Someone as meticulous as you, I know they would know exactly what is behind me here. And 
an Imperial Bomber and two Interceptors and a Legion of my Stormtroopers who are now there to camp you. Well, unfortunately for you, you decided for me to help you with your medical wound there. That has allowed me to fill a hangar up behind me where there was no troopers whatsoever to have a whole squadron of troopers in there now ready to capture you. Okay, so let me just put this tape around you here. It's a little bit sticky, but it will hold your wound bandage in place. I got that medical tape there. It does its job. That's exactly what it's meant to do. We put one more piece on there for you. And then you can go about what you would like to do. There we go. There we go. You need about that mount. right here. You seem quite reluctant still. Well, I see that you are not going to take the latter option. So, I'll tell you what. I promise not to hurt you whatsoever. Okay. So if I just holster my gun here, my blaster, I will put it in my pocket and I will let you pass through here and you could take that risk should you wish to believe me if my troopers are there behind this blast door I will open it personally for you or you can shoot your way out but it will be hopeless as I will have direct access to the back of you but that's a risk you're going to have to take. We have tried to act as civilized individuals today and I wish to continue with that. The situation is a lot more calmer. Do you not feel a little bit calmer now that you were not as tense when we first met? You have been, of course, taken care of, looked after, fixed up. You are relaxed. And you can continue to be relaxed. If you just give me the plans, I will personally walk you to one of our Imperial shuttles 
and you can fly away and go about your business. I suggest you do that. The choice is all yours. I notice that you wish to be a hero of the rebellion. That honest streak in you. The desire to fight the empire and its good cause is just too great for you. Well, I would like to say it was an absolute pleasure after hearing so much about you that I finally got to meet you and make your acquaintance. Put a face to a name, as it were. You are everything that the tales have lived up to be. You certainly have that demeanor. And hopefully my reputation will continue to precede me for being an honest imperial. Good. Well, I admire your spirit. So I'm going to allow you to go through to the hangar. Should you wish to give me the plans one more time? I thought not. No weapons here on me. I will keep it here. Please, by all means, go through. I'll make it easy for you. You don't have to move anywhere. I will walk around you. Okay. Okay. Well, take care of yourself. Oh, I will, of course, take care of myself. And so will my troopers be taking care of you. Cheerio.